Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to another transmission. I will, you all are feeling grounded, balanced, and in alignment, feeling amazing on this beautiful Memorial Day. Everything is everything on my side of the planet, and I will that it is on yours. As you can see, we about to tap in, tune in, and see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on with the beautiful Scorpio Collective. I would love to send all of my love, love is love is love, to every one of you that may be returning. And I would love to say thank you if you are new for tapping and tuning in. Hope that the messages resonate. I hope that the way that I read resonates. Um, the way that the things work on my side of the planet is I am an intuitive reader, a clairaudient reader, uh, and an empath. So the way things work is I... Uh, play music and the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, maybe even the timestamp on the clock, it will all correlate to whatever I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing and it all just blends very beautifully. So my spill here is eat a fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your story. So without further ado, we are going to tune right in, tap right in and um, but before we do, let's go ahead and do some house cleaning. I'll shake. Call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Ubatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Yo. So what do we have on the Cliz arc? So we have 408 on the clock. And that breaks down to 12. And 12 breaks down to 3. So 12 is the hangman. So you may be having someone um, that's kind of looking at you from a different perspective, kind of checking you out, seeing things in you in you that you, they may not have seen in the past or may not have seen or noticed before. Maybe this is you. Spirit has you in some sort of sacrificial position uh, so that you could look at things from a different perspective or vantage point or maybe walk in someone else's shoes. What we have right now playing is Nas, um, The Definition, uh, featuring Brucey B. Someone's name could be Brucey or B. Someone could be from Queens. Um, someone's name could be Nazir. Uh, but I definitely get a sense of like there is some very poignant moment of truth. Like someone is finally seeing something um, differently. Maybe in you. Maybe you're seeing something differently. You're getting a different perspective. I'm hearing someone is finally grasping, um, you know, the, the seriousness of something. Uh, maybe they took someone or took a situation for granted, and now they're finally grasping just how severe, um, you know, their actions are or the actions they didn't take were. And now there is this feeling of um, having a very defining moment. Um, so we're going to tap in and see what the cards have to say. Uh, but that's what I'm picking up intuitively. That 12 also breaks down to three. So now there is an energy of someone like looking at someone as someone very attractive, regal, royal, a leader, maternal, someone in their divinity, someone very creative or powerful, someone very nurturing or loving. What we have on um, the bottom of the deck, my nose is starting to itch already and I just started the reading. We have number 22 and it says intuition. So I do feel like spirit is... Uh, 
really encouraging you to trust your intuition. I feel like many of you are highly intuitive. For some of you, there could be a need to trust your intuition when it comes to a divine uh, masculine. Uh, perhaps if this is a masculine, maybe you need to utilize your intuition when it comes to a divine feminine. Uh, but I do feel like this is in regards to love because that four does, um, that 22 does break down to four, which deals with the heart chakra. So spirit is saying, you know, don't just, you know, let your heart, um, you know, have you uh, making decisions without uh, trusting what you feel about a situation. So it's really about, you know, looking at things from a different vantage point, looking at someone and, and seeing if their actions measure up to their words and see if their words measure up to their actions ultimately. Um, a lot of people know how to say things that sound good. That's what a lot of people spend their times, you know, a lot of their time on social media just sounding real good, sounding like professors, sounding like master teachers. But then when you look, you take a peek into their personal life, and you see them in real life, um, they don't even move that way. They don't even walk that way. They don't walk the way they talk. They don't talk the way they walk. You know what I'm talking about? Like they, there's no um, truth to it. So it's like you have to use discernment in every situation, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. So what we have on the split is we have 81. So this is about, you know, let you, you have to be, you know, like the, um, the master of your own universe is what I'm getting because you know when I see this nine that makes me think of you know the hermit and the hermit is a wizard and he knows that the answers he seeks are found within so many of you could be in you know that state of where you're kind of like searching you know searching within yourself um, you know looking within uh, you could be going within you know you could have been in a very isolated you know, space where you've been really secluded, rather, um, taking the necessary time to work on yourselves, uh, taking the necessary time to heal, perhaps from past pain, past wounds, past dramas, or maybe you're just in a space where you are taking the time out to, you know, assess and, and, um, you know, and, and self-improve, you know, reflect on things that may have occurred. But either way, you are in control of your life. This is someone who's a boss. This is someone who's a go-getter. This is someone who is very, you know, assertive in their, in, the, in their own personal lives. So let's tap in and see what the cards have to say. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively. We have Lauren Hill. Someone could be from Jersey. Someone's name could be Lauren. Someone may live on a hill. I'm hearing house on a hill. Someone may have, you know, grew up on a house on a hill. And maybe that was something like, you know, used to get teased like, oh, you know, house on the hill or whatever. But with tell him, I'm getting a strong sense of like, you know, someone is coming in, you know, because when she's singing, tell him, she's speaking to the most high, tell him, you know, tell him taking your, your, your concerns to the most high sending up your prayers, your petitions to the most high. So maybe you told spirit what you wanted in a partner and you may have said, I want a spiritual partner. I want a praying partner. I want someone who's into the occult or into esoteric. I want someone who's into Reiki. I want someone who's into tarot and it's not going to weird them out. I want someone that's on my frequency. And so you are manifesting this. You have told spirit what you wanted and I feel like spirit is manifesting it. This is another nine. So I'm definitely getting a strong fence a strong sense. So some of you all may be very defensive because I said fence. And when I said fence, it made me think of the nine of wands. And so the nine of wands is like that wounded warrior, but you still got that fight in you. And so I'm getting a strong sense of like that energy because I, I, you know, that was a Freudian uh, slip. So many of you still have like your wall up, but you cannot um, attract what you are sending up in prayer or in petitions if you are still very guarded, you know what I'm saying? So you have to let your walls down. You have to kind of, you know, you have to surrender, you know, you have to be receptive for, so that the spiritual partner can come in. So a lot of you are defensive because I said fence. So I feel like many of you are defensive because you just closed out a cycle with a karmic and it could have left you feeling very wounded because I was feeling a wounded warrior. And when you think of that nine of wands, there's several wands and it's kind of like, you know, you've built this wall. And so not only can people not come and enter in, but you also can't, and you know, exit. And so this is saying for you to, you know, kind of open up and be receptive. It was a very dark period, a lot of pain, 
you know, a lot of disappointment, a lot of regrets that you may have, but you shouldn't regret anything because every experience that you have is a teachable mo moment. And we have Belle Biv DeVoe singing Poison. So whoever this karmic was, they could have tried to poison you, like literally tried to poison you, like by putting stuff in your food. I'm hearing, um, you know, that um, witches brew. You know, men do that too, you know, where they will do something to the food to try to cast a spell or bewitch a person. So you was dealing with someone who was sick. And some of you all, after you would eat from this person or after you would lay with this person or be intimate with this person or be around this person, it was like they were an energy vampire and they were poisonous. They were venomous to you because you are a very, you know, you are a light bringer and this person is like an energy vampire. So it was like they were feeding off your life life force and life source. So you were like almost someone that they 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 were like a parasite, and that's why it was um, very important for you to leave that connection with that number um, that we opened up the reading with. It was like that twelve. That's that's why spirit made you look at things from a different perspective. Maybe take space from other individuals so that you can kind of assess things, you know, and process what what you were dealing with and I feel like your trauma response you know may have been to you know perhaps you know you may have um been someone who I don't want to say fight or flight but it was sort of like that you know have an argument and then you would ghost or you would disappear or you would block or you would do something to protect yourself protect your peace I feel like spirit is saying you know that that you know, good things take time to create and it's, you've been very patient, I feel, in this whole process. You know, when you go through a karmic completion, that is a long time. That could be a 10 year process, you know, but I feel like your patience is going to pay off is what I'm hearing. And whoever that person was, because we got 1990, this came out and that's 10. So that's that same karmic, whoever that person was, that was doing things to you to block you to thwart your plans of succeeding or to to steal your joy it, it's like it's only going to um it's only going to return right on back to his place of origin because i feel you are also a very spiritual person when we opened up the reading it said 22 intuition two is the high priestess so you already are wired you know with intuition with psychic abilities with spiritual gifts and you may patiently be opening those gifts or utilizing those gifts or discovering even these gifts i feel you're very patient also when it comes to making decisions so some of you are really in a like a meditative state perhaps but you have to be very mindful Someone could be from Harlem. Someone could have lived around the Apollo Theater. I'm picking up. Someone could be from Boston. I'm, I heard Mattapan, Dorchester, Roxbury. Divine Spirit, Peace, Power, and Protection. What messages? What's coming in? Okay, so you see how this card is just sticking up? I feel like it wants to choose itself. And we have 71 health. So this 71 health, and we got... Poison playing by Belle Biv DeVoe. And I was just speaking to someone trying to poison your food. So someone's health, someone could be recovering. Someone may have discovered, you know, that someone poisoned them or someone did something to their food. And that affected someone's health. I also get a sense of someone catching some sort of spiritually transmitted disease in addition to a sexually transmitted disease. And that's why you have to be very mindful, very careful of who you lay with. Some of you all are recovering. I feel like you're getting stronger after being poisoned, after someone, you know, um, bewitching you. I feel like you're finally getting your, your strength back. And I feel like you know exactly who it was. And when it was, and I'm hearing someone did roots, someone put roots on you as well. And I feel whatever they did to you, they, they, karmically, they're going to pay for that. Because spirit has, you know, you know Mama Ma'at has everyone's address. And this is an eight universal year. 
So for many of you, if someone did you dirty, they're going to get their karma. And you're going to know who it was because their health is going to decline. While you're getting stronger, you're going to see that someone else is getting weaker. Or you may find out someone got really sick and they were in the hospital and it was damn near on their death. But like not putting that in the universe, but that's what you're going to hear is like someone was really, someone fell ill because they were bewitching you. And that's why people shouldn't be out here playing with magic and being YouTube magicians because you don't know how high spiritually in rank another person is and you're sitting here listening to these people online tell you that you could do X, Y, and Z without any repercussions and that's just false. And we have Stevie Wonder singing All I Do. So all someone does is obsessively think of another person. We have 32 music and this is telling me to listen to this song so someone's constantly thinking of you obsessively because it says all I do so if that's all you're doing you're not you're not handling none of your other affairs that's just the main focus so when someone is constantly focused on you I feel like that is someone that is like obsessed or possessive or um it's just a very dark spirit someone that needs some help perhaps so 32, that breaks down to five. So this is a very challenging energy. Someone who, who could be in like a secret competition with you as well. Which is why they could have bewitched you because they see you as someone that's a challenge. I don't know if there's someone that they may be dealing with that they feel a threat. You're a threat to them. And you may not even realize this, but someone may really be feeling threatened by you. I don't know if it's in your career, in your job, maybe even in your community. They just may not like you because you just you are someone that just appears to be have it all together. Maybe this is someone in your family. Maybe this is someone that you dealt with in the past. They see your comeuppance and they're just jealous. Your comeuppance. So you've come up, even if that karmic is like, that could be the karmic because I'm still getting the eight, the karmic energy. Like as you get stronger, they're getting weaker. And that's another reason why they are obsessively focused on you. And with this 32, that breaks down to five. That's why I was picking up like, this is someone that's like very competitive, you know, when it comes to you. So they could be trying to do what you do. Like, you know, you may have quit your job, found another job. They trying to get a job you know, that's probably, you know, in the same, in, you know, in the same uh, field or line of work or in the same area or the same place. Like, you know, you may have gotten a new vehicle and someone went and got the same car. You know what I'm talking about? Like you may have moved in a certain area and they trying to find a place in the same, like, it's just like they constantly doing what you do. This is like a, someone that's like a copycat. Unoriginal is what I heard in my mind's eye. So they, they may have, you know, in the past, because I was getting an energy vampire and someone that was using you as a life force, they may have gotten all their ideas from you. And now that you've cut them, you've cut their source of information, you cut their source of food. So it's like they don't, they, they, they're, they're empty. So it's like all they do is obsessively think of you and think of what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So if you have social media, you might want to privatize it because this person is watching. I just get you, someone watching you like a hawk. So 32.5, I do feel like this is someone um, that has watched you kind of mature and grow and evolve. You know, and although it's intimidating, it's still like they 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 can't stop watching. It's like, you know, it's like, you know how somebody you love to hate, it's like that's how they feel about you. With this four perseverance, that's going to be the card for when we pull how they feel about you. So they see your strength. So who or what you're attracting is this three, creativity, and then you have 63, parenting. So that breaks down to three. So nine and three is 12. That's the same energy. Someone now sees you, you know, in a whole new light, a lot of yellow. Yellow is very illuminating. It also represents, you know, that number, I mean, that color of the, the sun. So someone is very much, you know, gaining some sort of epiphany, realizing, you know, who you are, you know, realizing how strong you are. You know, how great of a mother, how great of a father you are. Something they may have taken for granted in the past. And with all I do is think of you playing by Stevie Wonder, this person is really feeling what I feel is a little foolish for, you know, messing up something that was good. They thought that they broke you and all you did was rise 
you know, you rose, you know, you rose, beloved. And you are that rose that grew from concrete. I just heard that reference in my mind's eye. It's a Tupac poem. The rose that grew from concrete. Look that up. So that's resilience. So whatever they did to try to block you, to try to stop you, because I just immediately hear roadblocks. So someone could have like literally like done spells and then buried it in cement or buried it somewhere um, where it will never like it, you know what I'm talking about? Like it, it was a very strong spell. And we have Nas New York state of mind. Someone was definitely um, in a very um, like it because it, it, New York is a very competitive. It's a hustle bustle. Never sleep. Cut your throat if your eyes ain't open type of city. Like it's a doggy dog world. You know, when you go to New York, you have to keep your eyes on a swivel. And that's a constant and consistent um, energy of living in fear. And so that fear is something that I feel this person now has is because of you and, and, and just because you have displayed power in a way that they've never seen. You have persevered through the difficult, the most difficult of circumstances and situations. And you have come off as someone completely pure, loving, caring, still. Like you, it didn't harden you, your experience. It didn't make you bitter, your experience. It didn't make you cold or callous or hateful or vindictive. You only got better. You're even more loving now than you've ever been. And it's because you realize everything you grew through was to make you stronger. And that's why the 71 is here. You're stronger now because of your experiences. No matter how difficult it was or how bad the circumstance, it did not turn you into them. And that's the, that's the superpower. You maintained control of your own subconscious thoughts and you persevered. This is a healing energy. This is heart chakra energy. You're very nurturing, loving. See that? How they feel about you, 19 pride. They realize, see that? And this was upside down. I don't read reversals, but this is the 19 pride, which is 10. So they know they have to put the pride to the side. They also know that you killed their ego. Because whatever it is that they were doing that they thought they were going to, they had the drop on you, so to speak. It's like you overcame that and you just rose like the phoenix from the ashes. This 10 is the wheel of fortune in traditional tarot, but it also is that karmic completion. So you were dealing with an egomaniac. You were dealing with someone very proud, harsh, cold, unemotional who is always in a competitive mode. And I feel like you killed the ego. You killed their ego. I also feel like you leaving that situation or the demise of that connection, ending it, cutting them free, you know, has created this turning point. You know, what's destined to come into your life is now coming. Even though they tried to block it or delay it, it's coming. And it's love. It looks like it's in the form of love because we're about to pull a card for what's hidden. My nose is tickling like crazy. Like I said, whenever that happens, it's like I'm right on the nose. Spirit, thank you. So this six love is saying that you have someone that could be like a past life love. Look, we what we have, Spirit is telling you surrender. You know, be open, be receptive. This is the flip of this card. You know, and there's another card peeking. Um, it's playing peekaboo. So that's two spirits telling you use your intuition. Um, again, that's the high priestess, but this is saying patience. So maybe this is that person that you've been patiently waiting for, you know, because we have 91 surrender. So spirit is sending you love and you may still be guarded because I was getting a sense of you like, you know, building a wall to protect yourself from those who are trying to take advantage or who may have already taken advantage, stabbed you in the back, betrayed you, deceived you, lied to you, and did all of the dirtiest things. But it's like now, spirit is like, now it's time to let the wall down because the right people are coming in. You know, the right people, the right opportunities. Oh, this was there, pardon. So this six love was on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like that's what you're absolutely attracting to you. And it's because you now love yourself. When you love yourself, then you attract what you are. Self-love is more attractive. 
So this new love is going to be someone that could be communicating to you, intelli you know, intuitively or telepathically. You may be bumping into another person that is just as intuitive or psychic as you. As I said earlier, like this is going to be someone who's also into spirituality, someone who could be psychic or a clairvoyant, a tarot reader, a channeler, a scryer, a healer, shaman. Like, like this is someone who's also in the craft or someone who's also spiritually gifted. And this is someone who will communicate their love. And we have Roy Ayers vibrations. So they're bringing in good vibrations. And I feel like this person is going to vibrate on the same frequency. That's what you're attracting to you. So what you're attracting to you, eight manifestation. Many of you drew this in through your daily mantras, speaking your you know mantras, your daily affirmations, sending up prayers, sending up petitions, utilizing magic, candle magic visualizations you've called this in so something you've been calling in is manifesting in this physical reality and i feel it's going to bring a lot of emotional fulfillment happiness and joy and i feel like you're very very much um getting this wish fulfillment based off of the work the effort the diligence the drive the you know tenacity you know your your discipline ultimately your focus your, your laser sharp focus is what's bringing in this beautiful blessing. This is a wish fulfillment. And we have 81 leadership. So you took the reins of your life and couldn't, you, you set the tone. This is another nine. So you now know that by loving yourself and prioritizing you and your needs is what's going to you know change and shape your reality because you were in codependent relationships in the past. You know, namely, you were in a relationship with someone who could have taken advantage of you that was, you know, perhaps the father or the mother of your child. And so they thought that they would always have this hold, always have some sort of control over you. And, you know, that just wasn't the case because you realized that that was very toxic. And so this situation that was supposed to blossom into a beautiful love story turned into, you know, a painful nightmare because I also get from this 12, the three of swords. You know, the 12 breaks down to three. So as I was getting the Empress, someone now realizing that you are, in fact, a divine feminine. If you're a masculine, a divine masculine. I also feel like that was a very teachable moment because that also was a painful situation where you had to tap into your divinity to, you know, reinvent yourself, to emerge someone new. So you went through a startling metamorphosis after the demise, you know, after some sort of painful changes. And that's what led to you, you know, kind of tapping into, again, you know, that divinity, that, that divine feminine energy, you know, where you were being more maternal or paternal, being more creative, learning new things, you know, tapping into your divinity ultimately. And so now you're in this position where um, you're making the calls, you're making the shots, you're doing what you feel is necessary. You may also have people that um, look up to you. You may be someone that others may, you know, seek, you know, advice from. They, in, they are inspired by you. I get a sense of, you know, people being very inspired So let's tap in. So what is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. What is the outcome for our beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we got seven personal growth. So you have grown from your experiences, and that's what we all are meant to do. So that means you didn't repeat any cycles. Like you literally, you know, learned from past pains, wounds, and traumas. I think that there is going to be massive abundance and wish fulfillment coming in during that 8-8 portal, the Lion's Gate. I feel like your dreams, your wishes, your fulfillments, everything that you've asked for is coming in. This 888 is a vibration for Scorpio as well because we rule the eighth house. So I do feel like this is an energy that you can really draw in mass abundance. And I feel like you will be recognized and rewarded for the growth, for the, you know, the transformation that you've had. You've emerged someone completely different. Yep, I just said for the growth and the transformation, and there goes the 13. So you've made the effort. Spirit acknowledges the efforts that were made by you to reach this level of self-mastery that you're now in. And you are someone very in tune, very connected. You speak energy, which means you can see through the bull crap that people may be trying to, you know, 
you know, to feed you. So that's why that two, two showed up. Like spirit is like, you know, don't just be all love and light, like use your intuition in every scenario because people will still be out here trying to manipulate and connive if they, if you allow them. So with the outcome, we have 48 financial discipline. And I was picking up that you was really, you know, honing in on mastering a craft, that you were very tenacious, very diligent. And this is speaking to partnerships that you may be developing. You may be coming into some very um, profound collaborations with others. And this is going to build, like, build your, um, I heard empire. But you have a lot of people, you know, that want to collaborate. You may be getting several offers. You have 16 rebirth, as I just spoke to transformations and startling metamorphosis. So that's why this is coming in, because you've just had a major transformation. This is another seven. And remember, we saw that personal growth. So this is the rewards. This is the recognition for your hard work, not only on yourself, but also your finances, you know, will also improve tremendously. I feel like you've mastered some sort of craft because you clearly were in your creative energy. You were in a flow. And whenever you get into that flow, they are tapping into, you know, um, you know, that 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 Christ consciousness, that God frequency. You're trapping in you're tap trapping. You're tapping into your divinity. And I feel someone was trying to trap you so that you couldn't reach that peak, so that you couldn't reach that level. They were trying to block. They were trying to keep you trapped, keep you anchored, keep you attached to something on this, this earthly plane, whereas you have gifts that are coming, you know, from the divine. And we got love partnership here, 26. So this is your outcome is you're coming into some sort of beautiful connection. And it's because you have transformed into your authentic self, like whatever you've experienced and whatever pain you've had to endure, it has brought about some sort of beautiful outcome. You will be emotionally and I feel financially fulfilled. You will have a very sacred connection or bond with another person that is going to be on your frequency. Because I just feel like you're attracting someone that's made in your likeness. Let me see what all these cards break down to. So we got eight and three, that's 11, that's two, two and th um, nine, two, uh, two and one, three, three and eight, that's 10, one, one and three, that's four, four, and seven, that's 11, that's two, two, and eight, that's 10. So this is definitely confirming what we saw when we first touched the cards. There was a karmic completion. And because of that karmic completion, you now have wishes that are being fulfilled. You now have manifestations that are coming into fruition for you because whatever was trying to block you, whatever was hindering you or holding you back or attempting to, it has now been kind of cleared out of your life, purged out of your life. And with this 26 love partnership, you're bumping into someone that's going to feel like a wish fulfillment or you may feel like a wish fulfillment to this person. And we have right now playing, who is this? Um, Norman Carners. You are my starship as, as I'm speaking to a wish fulfillment. I can't make this up. Someone's name could be Norman or Connors. And this was this came out in 1976. Someone could be born in 1976. Look what we have on the bottom of the deck. Infinite supply. So you all will definitely have an infinite supply. I was picking up on the 8-8 portal, what goes around comes back around again. So everything that you've experienced, you know, all the seeds that you've sowed in good faith by you not turning into a cold, hard, you know, blood, cold blooded, bitter bee or, you know, cold blooded, hard, you know, um, cold blooded and cold hearted, you know, dude, brother, masculine, whatever you want to call it, um, it's like, that's why you're getting these blessings because you did the complete opposite of what anyone else perhaps in this situation would have done. And you were still in the process of learning. Like, you know, they always say Scorpios are very vindictive or Scorpios are this and Scorpios are that. Scorpio took the higher road this time around. And that's why Scorpio is being recognized and being rewarded and being blissed with an infinite supply, which means that you are never gonna have to worry. You're gonna have financial freedom. Whatever it is, this is that you're collaborating with others on, whether this be business, whether this be in your career, whatever this is, it's going to, you know, produce a, a windfall. You're going to be very fruitful. 
You're receiving carnucopia. This is blessings upon blessings. And you're also going to have a happy home on top of that. So you have infinite supply and you also have home. And we got you are my starship. So some of you all are definitely going to, you know, come into some sort of sacred connection with someone. And you may share a home with this person. Like I'm here in home and hearth. It says your household is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupant. So if you all are and have been living on your own for a while, I feel like there's going to be someone new that's moving in. And this is just going to, you know, bring about, you know, some beautiful uh, partnerships and, you know, collaborations that are going to lighten your load ultimately. You know, maybe this is someone that will go into business with you. Some of that will be just supportive. You know, I feel like the two of you will be very successful. I'm hearing like you're going to be like a power couple because this is not some lazy dude or lazy chick. Like this is someone that is very much a hard worker as well. They like to go after whatever it is they want. I have be strong here. So you are definitely getting stronger and we're about to pull the card for the 71 health. So we got the Sekhmet energy it says you are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome. So I definitely was saying that, you know, for many of you, I was picking up like, you know, especially with Abel Bib DeVoe playing poison as some of you all could have physically been poisoned. You know, you could have eaten from someone that poisoned you. You could have been, you know, eaten from someone that could have did some sort of, you know, witch's brew or did bewitched you in some way or attempted to. But you are strong. You know, you are stronger than you ever imagined. Maybe you didn't see yourself coming out of that situation. They damn sure didn't see you coming out of it. Whoever this was that cast the spell or did this um, witchcraft on you. But it's like you're stronger than even, you know, your own imagination. And I feel like, you know, your angels and your guides, you know, have absolutely had a lot to do with you coming out of that. But it's all based on your good karma, your good deeds and the seeds you've sowed in the past, that's why you've had the outcome that you've had. What we have is leap of faith here. So you took a leap of faith, which means that you were trusting, you walked in faith and not by sight, regardless of how sick or weak or how, you know, how much you were vomiting, whatever the circumstance was with your health, you did not give your power, um, you know, you didn't submit your will to anything external to yourself you trusted that you were going to heal and you spoke healing on yourself you know you commanded your body to do you know what it needed to do to transmute and purge whatever that poison was out of your body and you just took a leap of faith and when you took that leap spirit caught you next you have Genevieve true love so you also have love coming in you have undying love so this is saying that you know whatever this is you know because I do feel like you know by you being strong in your faith, being strong um, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. It's like you took a leap of faith to go after something that you normally, pro you know, would not have. You know what I'm saying? And because you may have had some sort of fears or some sort of doubts. And I feel now you're fearless and you're leaning in your strength. And what you are leaping towards is this new love or this true love. Because this says... You know, the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. And remember, you pulled this love partnership here. So you have called this in. You have manifested this. You have set the intention, the tone. And not only is this going to be your true love, but this is going to be a die, undying love because it says the love you have shared is eternal. So this could be like almost past life love. And you're going to feel the synergy and the chemistry with this person. I feel with that eight also, I'm getting like a star. So again, a wish fulfillment, something that you may have visualized, something that you may have, you know, written down in your, your journals, um, something that you have been, you know, calling in and manifesting through candle magic, whatever it is, whatever means. And we have Shalimar, this is for the lover in you. So because you now love yourself, you're going to attract someone that's going to love you equally. You know, this is someone that's going to speak your love language. This is someone that's going to be on your same frequency and vibration as we saw Roy Ayer saying. This is beautiful. So be strong. So let's tap in and see why is this creativity. 63 parenting here for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Wow. Thank you, spirit. And the bottom of the deck, we got go outside. Some of you all have been isolated. I was picking up that energy 
you know, even with the 12, the, uh, you know, that uh, hangman, you can't really do too much moving because you're just in such a, you know, contemplative or meditative state. But spirit is saying, when you go outside, you get a fresh perspective. When you go outside, you have clarity. Some of you have been indoors too long. You have not been outside. I'm hearing trapped. So you almost feel trapped inside. So we have home. This flew out to clarify the three creativity for who or what you're attracting to. So this person is going to feel like home. Maybe this is someone who's from your hometown. I was picking up like a past life love or someone that's going to feel very familiar. Maybe you already know this person. But it says your household is um, situation is improving. So whoever this person is, they may very well be moving in with you. Or this may be someone that you may find yourself moving in with, you know, um, sooner than later. But this person is going to feel like home, which means it, you're, it, it's a safe space. There's love. You know, this is someone that you can trust. This is someone that's your rock. This is someone that has your back, someone that's supportive, someone that's caring. You also have or Stara, this is the divine feminine. And this is how they feel about you. So this person feels that you are that divine feminine I was picking up on. And they're even very attracted to you as well. You know, someone could have been very egoic and I feel like you may have, you know, like I said, you killed the ego because a divine feminine knows her worth and value. She doesn't have to be out here snooty and head up in the clouds, but she's definitely not going to deal with someone who's egoic and egotistical and, and proud, too proud to, you know, to compliment her or too proud to, to show up as that alpha male, too proud to um, show emotion. Like she doesn't settle for less. And it says this is the perfect time for you to start new projects. So I feel like if some of you have been even stubborn in, you know, pursuing certain dreams, things that you know that you ought to go after, even if it's like you've been stuck at a job that you simply cannot stand. And because you don't want to, you know, interrupt the flow, the cash flow, the, you know, the steady income, you're settling. And spirit is like, okay, the, the jig is up. It's time for you to go and, and, and start that new career or pursue that new career or start that that business that you've been talking about for the past 10 years or the past two years it's like now it's time to pursue those things and to be fearless in doing so because this energy that you're channeling the divine feminine even if they're masculine the divine masculine energy it's like that is one that is fearless they are go-getters they make things happen they make things snap crackle and pop you know what i'm talking about like this is someone who is very much a master manifester they know how to turn their thoughts into reality. And you can see she's planting seeds. And these seeds will produce, which means that there's, you know, uh, uh, an abundance. And I even see a rabbit. And rabbits always represent not only fertility. Some of you all can become very fertile in these next months. But you also, it may also represent, um, you know, prosperity and abundance. We also have be strong. Remember, we just saw that. So someone does see, you know, because what we are manifesting or what's um, hidden in the energy was manifestation. So I feel like you were very strong in your conviction to, you know, to hold true to what you envisioned for yourself. You knew that it got better. You knew that it could be better. You knew you deserved better. And so you were strong in making the decisions or taking whatever actions. And that's why this wish fulfillment is coming in. We have many uh, Ripperton memory lane playing. So someone could really be in this nostalgic place thinking of you. You know, the eight is, you know, a very karmic energy. You know, and I feel like maybe this person is going to try to double back around, come back around. And Spirit is telling you, be strong. We also have Diana. This says focused intention. So this speaks again to you setting your intentions and manifesting whatever it is it is that you want and whatever it is that you are shooting for you're going to um, acquire it and this is clarifying the 48 financial discipline the 16 rebirth and the 26 love partnership so you do have something very beautiful that you are manifesting it says keep your unwavering thoughts feelings and actions focused on your target and you will hit your mark so you are definitely someone who is a very strong manif manifester and you knew the more that you called in what you desired the you know that you will eventually get it because it's it's here and look what we have on the bottom of the deck a new beginning brand new beginning We've got the ace of wands 
So you have a beautiful, fresh start, Scorpios. And I feel like, you know, spirit is reminding you that if you need clarity, you know, to take a step outside, you know, there's things that are blossoming. Many of you had to get out of, you know, codependent relationships. Maybe that's why spirit was telling you it's time to step outside, you know, and smell the roses, so to speak, because that gives you some different perspective. We got independent. So your independence is always the foundation for your security and your success and just your overall happiness. And we also have this energy here of infinite supply and we have purification. So it's about a purge, you know, that's why spirit is telling you to go outside because someone from your past may be trying to come back to try to convince you that, you know, let's try again. They may even come back someone, you know, saying things differently, you know, saying they want a fresh start. But I feel like spirit is telling you um, that you have to trust your intuition, you know, and, and you need to do what's best for you ultimately, you know. Do what's best for you because they could be just coming in very lustful. They could be lusting after you. I see you're going to have several options, several offers. Look at this energy. Wow. Someone from your past is coming. Someone is prepared to say something to you because we have this Ace of Wands. So this is passion. You know, this is a very passionate and exciting, you know, fresh start for you. You could be coming off very attractive to others. You have generous offers that are, you know, pouring in from several different suitors. And I feel like you're going to have your pick. I do feel there is someone that is on your frequency because remember we had vibrations and I was feeling like you're attracting, you know, whoever this love partnership, this is like someone that is, you know, into the same things you may be into. Like this is someone that is like the yin to your yang, the yang to your yin, a divine you know, and sacred counterpart, you know, this is a divine connection. And this is one that's overseen by your angels and your guides, which means that this was, you know, this was a uh, preordained or predestined. And then we also have the six of uh, cups here. So someone from your past is also trying to return singing, you know, the same old tune and you have to be very mindful, you know, because y your intuition is what's going to determine you know, the outcome, but there is a message, you know, this ace of swords is showing that there is this message. And I feel like you're going to have to use your intuition because this is someone with a mask. You're, there's communication coming. I feel like there's an opportunity to clear the air. If everyone is being, you know, real, if everyone's being transparent. So let's happen to see what's coming in. We got old dirty bastards, shimmy, shimmy, ya. So we got 10 of swords and then the 10 of wands. So you're having a fresh start after being backstabbed, after being betrayed and deceived. Maybe someone is coming in to apologize. But this shimmy ya, I'm getting like someone's trying to come in and shimmy ya. You know, like that's like sham you. I'm hearing sham from shimmy. But with old dirty bastard, I think this is someone that just sees that you are independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant, you're abundant. You've manifested, you know, and, and managed to, you know, to rebuild, you know, to rebrand, to restructure your life. And someone could be, you know, coming in with a false offer because they see you're having this fresh start. But I feel like spirit is telling you it's time to walk away from that connection. Someone is feeling like the, a missed opportunity with you. Someone could have been very childish. Someone could have had a child on you a child behind your back maybe you had a baby with this person because we did have this parenting so you could be co-parenting with someone who was acting very childish or you could have been in a relationship with someone who was like the mother or father to your child and things turned to become very um toxic in that relationship you were dealing with someone who was very manipulative i feel like um this person may have not you know they may not have had um, like a healthy upbringing with either a mother or father, which could have, you know, they've become like a product of that, made them very bitter, made them very toxic because they never healed from those past wounds. So the reason why the 71 Health, Annie, um, Leap of Faith, Genevieve, True Love, and Undying Love is here for the overall energy is we have the Six of Wands. So you're going to be having a victory and a celebration. This could even be a marriage. 
because these two people look like they're being, you know, um, celebrated in marriage, but you have some sort of breakthrough here. And it's a breakthrough in love because you took a leap of faith. So I feel like that leap of faith is, you know, not taking a chance with someone from your past, but moving forward towards something in your future, like moving forward to have a fresh start, a new beginning. We have the seven of pentacles because you've been feeling unfulfilled for quite some time, you know, and I feel like you just been, you know, feeling like you've been given and given and not receiving and you felt depleted. You felt, you know, like you've been just kind of like in it on your own. Why is this three creativity, 63 parenting, invest the home here for my beloved Scorpios. And we have the two of pentacles. So definitely dealing with someone who was kind of juggling, who had multiple options. We got the seven of wands here. So you were very protective. Remember I was picking up like the nine of wands where you were guarding yourself. So someone could have been residing with another person, been in another relationship with another person. We also have the eight of wands. So you're moving on, you know, and we got Betcha Don't Know by Naji. So you didn't know that this person was definitely like juggling multiple people. I got the Queen of Wands here and the Queen of Wands is usually like, you know, most people see her as the mistress, you know, so she don't have a problem with breaking it up, you know, happy homes. Because remember, we have home. Your home is changing either through, you know, um, a move or a healthy change in the occupants. So some of you all may have, you know, separated from your, ch your child's mother or child's father, you know, and it was due to this mistress who could have been doing black magic you know, who could have been doing some voodoo, juju, hoodoo on the person that you were with, which could have, you know, um, ultimately led to the demise of the relationship. This person is wearing a hood, you know, so this is definitely someone who was like a hidden enemy, someone who had some sort of um, secrets. But I feel like you had angels and guides that were protecting you from whatever this person was doing. I also see it looks like she's um, someone is teaching, you know, she's teaching others. So someone is definitely watching you. Someone is watching you and I feel it's several people. This this snake that's wrapped around um, this wand and then this black cat here, it does tell me that someone is into um, the occult and that's what led to some sort of, you know, some, some confusion here. We got the eight of wands and this person is wearing a mask. So they weren't being their authentic self. This is someone that was like, they were, they were not being their authentic self, nor were they, you know, aware that they were dealing with someone who could have been, you know, bewitching them this could have been a younger energy someone was dealing with and there goes another mask the four of pentacles so this is someone that still holds on to you i feel like they've had a, an epiphany about how they feel because remember this is the three and the 93 or the 63 part of me that's 12 which is the hangman energy i was picking up on and you can see clearly that this person has this light bulb so they have this epiphany you know, that things were perhaps better with you than they were with this individual. And Spirit is singing, betcha don't know. So this person didn't know what they were entangling with. And I feel whoever they're dealing with keeps tabs on them. It's like they feel very, it's like watched. It's like someone is watched. Someone is constantly watching them. She's watching them like a hawk. Even the cat is watching. Hmm. And we got this tower. So someone is definitely experiencing some sort of painful ending. You know, this is like the ish is hitting the fan. The fan. And someone's, you know, skeletons are coming out of the closet. So there's going to be some things that you may not have known about. Maybe that's what happened, which caused the demise of this relationship. Is a lot of secrets were exposed. Mistresses were discovered. And someone still holds on to you. Still is... You know, even though they still connected to this Queen of Wands, they still try to hold on to you in this connection. 
which is why I was picking up like you're guarded. They're still confused and conflicted, juggling two ideas, two people. You're the divine feminine. You're everyone. Um, you know, you're who everyone aspires to be. All of the queens aspire to become that empress. And this person has their eye on you. Whoever this empress is knows about you. Maybe they know or picked up through their magic spells that they, whoever they're with, has these feelings, these this love for you. And so they're turning their attention to you. Let's tap in. Why is this 19 pride and Ostara fertility here? I cannot take 45 billion cards. The Queen of Swords. So you are definitely not playing. There goes the Nine of Wands I was uh, channeling. I was picking up on that intuitively. And I see uh, several cards that I was talking about. So I feel these are all your messages and I'm going to take them because they flew out as if they were. So we got the Nine of Wands. So you are definitely guarded. Remember what I said. You still got some fight in you. If, if somebody talks like they want to bring it, you you going to answer that. You know what I'm talking about? Like you're not playing. But at the same time, someone, you see this person sick. Remember I was saying someone was, um, you know, feeling ill. Someone may have gotten poisoned. And you can see this person up in the bed, you know, like. You know, a nurse is seen and tending to them. So how they feel about you is I feel like they're very um, confused. They feel, you know, they're constantly thinking of you. Maybe they're dreaming of you. It's like sick. And you're, and you're sitting here like, whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Like you're protected, you're guarded. You're a warrior spirit. Like, you know, you, you have a lot of um, spiritual powers that people don't know about. That's why I said like when people are constantly doing magic and throwing things, they don't know how high in rank you are, you know, and so you're being protected and guarded and shielded from set attacks and whatever they could be sending to you. It's like they're going to fall. Um, they're going to fall by their own, um, you know, it's going to return back to its place of origin is what I'm saying. See that spying? Someone is keeping tabs, keeping tabs, constantly worrying about what you're doing. If you have social media, they're tuning in. But you have eyes watching you constantly, like a hawk. I see a hawk in the sky. And we have uh, Kendrick Lamar, The Heart, Part 2. So this is someone whose heart is open. They're realizing the love. They're realizing the care. They're even recognizing how loving, caring, kind you are. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is what they can see and envision with you. Maybe this is someone that's coming in, that's opening your heart and it will offer you that happily ever after, that happy spouse, happy house energy. I feel like this is like, this is someone that's definitely, um, you know, being sent to you by your angels, your guides. You may have a feminine energy, whether that's an auntie, whether that's a grandmother, a mother, a sister, a friend. But there's a feminine energy that is very protective over you and is bringing you into alignment with someone that's going to match your fly, someone that's going to be very protective, someone very family oriented, someone who is very much like, you know, very um, domestic, you know, very practical, resourceful. This is a beautiful energy. We also have, look at that. Oh, this is beautiful. The Queen of Cups. So this is the energy you're in. There's a lot of love here. You love yourself. You're happy. You're pouring into yourself and you're attracting what you are. You're attracting many suitors, in fact. And you got the seven of pentacles. Many of you could have been very, you know, very disappointed, you know, because you just felt like when is love coming? What's happening? You felt alone in many aspects, but I feel like you've learned to embrace, you know, your solitude, your singlehood. And that's why, you know, others are starting to see you in this, you know, regal royal energy because you've taken a lot of time to work on yourself. Many of you, you may have had to, you know, rid your own egos, you know, let down your own walls so that you can heal, so that you can improve. You do have this devil that I was picking up on, someone obsessed. And this is someone that walked away from you. And in walking away from you, they thought that they were going to have it better wherever, you know, they went. They thought the grass was going to be greener and they found out the grass was plastic. And so now it's like they're doubling back. But this is someone obsessed over you. You know, this is someone very obsessed. And there goes the hermit that I mentioned. So this is you. How they see you is you're not making or taking any action. 
unless it feels right, sits right in your spirit because you're a wizard. You know the answers that you seek are found within, so you're not looking external, you're going within. And what you're discovering is you know that there's been a whole lot of devilishment going on. You know that someone has been trying to, you know, bewitch you or bewitch another person. They've been trying to bring all kind of doom and gloom into your life. You even discovered that someone that was dealing with a mistress, someone may have had another child behind your back for some of you. You realize all of these things through your solitude because you are a high priestess. You are the keeper of ancient wisdom and ancient knowledge. So you cannot dupe a high priestess. You are the magi. You manifest. You know, that's that one. It breaks down to one. So someone's pride was keeping them from you. But you are the magi. You are the alchemist. You know how to tap into your divinity. And you're also very well, ready and willing to cut off people, places, and things if you feel they're trying to insult your intelligence. You also have someone that wishes to communicate and beg for your forgiveness because I get someone wanting to beg for your forgiveness. And I feel like spirit is telling you, be strong, you know, be strong because it may not be the offer that you should accept. You know, why is this eight manifestation and segment be strong here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message. Thank you, spirit. It actually fell on the floor. Thank you. And we have the world. So that is clarifying, you know, everything that I said, or that's confirming, I should say, pardon me, the world you've already reached a deeper, more profound understanding of yourself. I feel there's also distance from you and whoever this is, but I also feel you're being rewarded. You're being rewarded for everything that you have had to endure. And the seeds that you've sowed are now harvesting, blossoming, blooming. The card that flew out is the wheel. I can't make this up. So your wheel is turning. You're getting what's destined for you. And it's because of your strength. It's because of your resilience. It's because you've persevered through all of the atrocities. There's been a lot of things that have tried to block you. And namely that devil, you know, because I was feeling like someone was trying to be a roadblock. Someone did some spell work. Someone was trying to poison you. And you were able to see all of that because you are the keeper of divine knowledge and wisdom as well. So you are someone who also knows how to provide that you know, protective bubble, but your wi your wishes are coming true. You have fortune, you have fa fame, and I feel the wheel is turning in your favor. And this is just bringing about a lot of abundance. And whatever was delaying, you know, those, those opportunities, it's like now the wheel is turning. It's like something's coming full circle. You've come out of a very dark period, a very tumultuous period. You know, period, you can see all the mountains in the backdrop. You were treated coldly by people you loved. You were stabbed in the back by people you trusted, which is usually the people in your cipher because only the people in your cipher are the ones that could, you know, disappoint and hurt you in that manner. But it only made you stronger. That's, all, that, that's what they did. You know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And that's what you may have said. You may have had some sort of affirmation or mantra which spoke to strength, even when you didn't feel strong, that's just something you may have chanted, you know, just to convince yourself to lie to kick it and not to lie to kick it, but to, to convince yourself that's who you were. But this wheel and this world is confirmation that something's coming full circle. I also feel that there is something destined, you know, there's something that's destined that's going to take place. I feel like you are receiving a lot of blessings and it's because you did not take your eyes off the prize. You knew what you wanted for your life and you continued to pursue it relentlessly. But I also feel there's distance between who or what you're attracting to you. You know, maybe there's some travel in your future. I feel like you may be traveling. I see that you've shed a lot of, you know, dead weight, shed a lot of negativity, you know, maybe negative people. You know, there was a lot of people around you, Debbie Downers. You know, I see the Knight of Wands. I see the Knight of Cups, and I see the Six of Cups. So I'm absolutely getting a sense of like you're, you know, going to have someone from your past try to come back into your life and make an offer. And this is someone who's kind of rushing in, you know, but I feel like Spirit is telling you, you know, that you've already learned that lesson. 
and the cycles have already been learned you know i mean the cycles have already been completed so don't repeat anything that's why the intuition was showing up and that's why we have this focused intention here in rebirth as reminders that you've already gone through some sort of startling metamorphosis you know so let's tap in why is 48 financial discipline 16 rebirth 26 love partnership diana focused intention for the outcome for my beloved scorpios so i'm gonna take this card because it's pointing see that it's pointing down and this one also wants to be chosen and then this one also flew out bottom of the deck we have the eight of pentacles so what did i say about partnerships you're attracting someone willing to come in and put in the work this could be someone that you meet at work someone you may meet in something you know in a field that you may be um studying you may meet this person in school you may meet this person um you know at an occult bookstore you know, meet this person jogging. Meet you, You're meeting this person whilst you are mastering your craft. So this is someone very intrigued by your tenacity, your drive. They're intrigued by, you know, um, how disciplined and focused you are. And I feel this is someone that wants to come in and put in the work. And look what we have playing right now, Luther Vandross. A house is not a home. And remember, we chose house. I mean, we chose home. We had home come out for who or what you're attracting to you. So a house is not a home. So you are attracting someone that definitely um, is coming to bring in that, like that home, that hearth energy. So the card that came out, we have death. So this is major change and transformation. This is also your energy. So we see that there was something that shifted. I feel like there was a death of old faulty belief systems and ideologies. And I feel there was a birthing or emergence of a new you. You know, I heard a new spectacular you. The healer you, the teacher you, you see how these people are gathering around. So it's like people are very much flocking to you because you have transformed into someone very beautiful and very attractive. And now you have people that would want to, you know, collaborate or want to uh, partner up with you because you are someone that is very, um, you know, very intriguing, very mysterious, but also some very strong, very bold wow this is beautiful next card you have is the nine of pentacles many of you are single you know i was picking up that single energy earlier very focused that you, another energy of focus and drive and determination you can see this person in the backdrop just working hard and you can see yourself you know like just collecting all of the fruits of your labor you know that's an energy of tenacity that i was picking up on and all of your hard work is obviously paying off and this always makes you more attractive because you're stable all on your own you are self-made, so whatever you're doing, you're successful all on your own. And we also have the two of pentacles. So the two and the nine, that's 11 pentacles, which breaks down to two again. You know, so whoever this is or whatever you're juggling, you know, I feel like you're juggling a lot, you know what I'm saying? But you're still managing, you know, you're, because you still have been able to acquire this nine of pentacles. But I feel someone is willing to come in and take a load off your you know, your back, a load off your shoulders, a load off you, period. And, you know, assist, you know, come in and step in because this is someone that knows that, you know, it takes two to tangle. It takes a partnership to really have, you know, the success, to really have, you know, the, the, um, you know, that, that, uh, generational wealth or that generational family. And the Ace of Cups is here with the Ten of Wands. So, you know, this person wants to take that, like I said, that weight off your shoulder because this is the Ten of Wands. And that Ten of Wands is, you know, there with an owl, which represents wise dome. So you've obviously gotten wiser. You know, that's why Spirit was telling you to take those walls down and to be open and receptive because you're going to have people coming in willing to be generous. You're not used to that. You're used to being the one to do all the giving and to do all the caretaking. And now you're going to have someone that wants to come in and they want to, you know, pour into you because you have this Ace of Cups. So Spirit is bringing you new love. And this new love is going to help you heal from those past disappointments and betrayals and deception. This is a beautiful reading, Scorpio. I appreciate you for tuning and tapping in. I hope the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit that like, that share, that subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace, love, and light.